rechargeable car shop to make steam when you walk around appraisal. Pick up Ford Focus, it's a 1 litre Eco Boost titanium model. In white to the 65 plate, let's have a little walk around, show you around the car. The purpose of the video was just to show you that there's no real bad damage on the vehicle, no bad dents, scuffs, or scrapes. That the car is as per the photos we put up on the website. So, let's start with the front end. Walk around the front end from the bottom of the grill. Try not to take too long with this video. Constantly getting told I take too long. But I do try and tell you and show you as much as I can in the short time. So front end all looking nice, and as I said, it's just to show you there's no bad damage, dents, scuffs or scrapes. Obviously it is a used car. sensors on the rear, which is always a, a nice little feature, a very useful feature to have on the car. So you'll get yourself all looking good. And inside, plenty of room in there, good sized boot area, storage, luggage compartment, whatever you want to call it. Your parcel shelf obviously in situ as well. So coming around onto the rear at the driver's side, absolutely fine. Wing, wheel arch, alloy, all spot on. Rear door, again, absolutely no issues. Properly looked after this vehicle. Coming as a part exchange, nice lower miles. Absolutely spot on. A bit of housing there as well. No problems at all. So we'll have a little look inside. Just show you the door card first of all on the rear door, all looking nice and tidy. Electric windows all round, front and rear on this car. And then the upholstery. Apologies for the sunlight glaring. So we've got three seats, three seat belts, three headrests. Nice fix on the two outer seats there. If you've got any kiddie seats that you need to put in, all the rest of it all looking good. Front driver's door. Driver's door card, again, absolutely spot on. Here we've got the self-locking system, so you can lock the vehicle security while you're in there on your own. Uh, electric door mirrors, if you flick that left or right, use the outer as it's like a joystick type thing. Electric windows front and rear, isolated so just the driver can work them, which is good if you've got little ones in the back. And the driver's seat itself, as you can see there, no rips or tears, height adjuster there. So we'll have a little look inside the car. As I said, we've got really bright sunshine at the moment, so should really come for there, should we? So we've got keyless start, we've just got the start stop button just here, so as long as you've got the key in the car with you, you press that button, the car will come to life. Just need to drop a fuel in there. So, just zoom in on the miles. Put my hand there so you can see. 15,292 on the miles, so lovely low miles at the moment on the vehicle. Then we've got multifunction on the steering wheel here. Again, nice and close. So, if I just scroll this up and down, keep the camera on there. The sun's coming through, but I hope you can see. Um, you can just see that that just scrolls through the different things there. You can have um, your average miles, average miles per gallon. You can even have, let's put my hand back there again so you can see a lot. Uh, you can have a digital speedo if you wish. 
on the right hand side just here in the center we've got the you see that's voice voice activation for your bluetooth commands etc you can answer and disconnect telephone calls on these two buttons here when you connect it to the car by bluetooth obviously um, change radio station music track volume control up and down as well and then just down into the left hand side here you've got your cruise control and your speed limiter as well so plenty of uh, good features on this car again i'm just going to try and get my hand above to block the sun out on here so you can see so the main screen is all touch screen split into four top left is phone top right navigation bottom right is climate control bottom left entertainment so i'm just going to touch the corner whichever one corner you touch it will just populate the screen so you can see there we just put the map on for the sat nav full color sat nav just press destination let me just get my hand over it so you can see I'm, i do apologize but you can see everything on there everything what you need to do uh, at the bottom there you see the picture like a home it's your home screen obviously it takes you back there and again if you press and you can price. So your audio system, you've got AM, FM, and DAB audio radio. Um, you've also got a single slot CD player, which is just here. Um, you could also play music by Bluetooth, so you have Bluetooth. You could play it through the USB port as well, um, through the auxiliary port. So all different ways to play music, crystal clear. Okay. So again, if you press the home screen there, and obviously you've got your pair phone, your climate control there as well. So I'm just gonna come back down here see a bit uh, better now without the sun so manual controls for the auto system up there on off uh, eject cd retune etc has a warning lights there as you can see then as we come further down you'll see we've got dual zone climate control so either side you can have different temperatures just set it press the auto button you have got manual control as well with the blowers off plus and minus just here so you've got total manual control or automatic uh, heated screen heated rear window obviously all the usual bits and bobs that you need on there. But as we come further down, you've got a USB socket here, another 12 volt socket there. Uh, you've got this little button here with a letter A and a little circle around it. That's because the car's got the stop start technology, where in certain circumstances of traffic or in traffic lights, so you pull, pull to a stop. If you let the car out again, turn the, let the clutch out, the car will turn off. You put the clutch in the car start up again. If you don't like it, that technology, press that button it'll say off but you have to do it every time you start a journey because it will reset itself okay six speed manual gearbox which tells us that this is a 125 brake horsepower car rather than the 100 which is another option you can get and the focus petrol one litre petrol adjustable cup holders just slide them along for different sizes of uh, whatever sort of cups that you need these days and if i can turn that around there you'll see down there We've got another 12 volt socket and the USB socket and that is where the SD card sits that powers the satellite navigation. And there is a little tray that you put that in. It just sits in like that, look. So, a bit of storage on there, so let's just turn that engine back off, make it a bit quieter. And the sun's gone in as well. So we can see everything a bit better as well. So, lots of nice spec in the car. So you've got rear parking sensors see I didn't show you I'll just start the car up there you go look so you get green amber red if I just try and show you, you can hear oh, you can hear that as I reverse up just a bit further there you go all red so you get green amber red obviously red's telling you to stop so they work absolutely fine as well all the plastics and everything in the car absolutely spotless obviously it's a lovely low mileage car been properly looked after so let's have a little walk around to the passenger side and just show the upholstery just from both sides so you can see that but the car is in lovely condition so door card absolutely fine electric window switch again as i showed you from the other side all the way across there's no rips or tears or holes or anything there okay and then door guard again in the front let your window control and the passenger seat absolutely spot on so there you go hot focus one litre titanium lovely lovely car nice low miles on the 65 plate that's it stop now thank you very much for watching the video